All right, guys, today I am wading a small stream. And how I do that is by triple waterproofing my stuff. I come very minimal. I only bring one pole and then I have a backpack. I take everything out of that backpack. In the front pocket, I put two bottles of water and then I have a plastic box with a lid on it. Inside that box is my spare camera batteries, my cigarettes and lighter, and about eight extra lures. I then place that plastic box inside a rubber waterproof bag, roll it up, clip it. I then place that waterproof bag inside a trash bag and then twist tie it. And then I place that inside my backpack. And then I keep my pliers in my pocket because a lot of the times you're going to be taking these fish off out in the middle of the water. So it's very vital that everything is waterproof. And that is all there is to it, guys. Today I'm trying to get on some small mouth and large mouth with the hopes of accidentally getting a pickerel or a goggle eye. Let's see what happens. I'm going to be wading upstream. It's a very small stream, but it does hold some decent fish. had a nice one. I think it was a goggle eye too. I don't know how it got off. That was probably my only chance of getting a fish out of this little hole too. It was a decent one, whatever it was. There we go. All right. What do I got here, guys? Looks like smallmouth. Hey, it's a start. I'll take him. Not horrible. About 10 or 11 inches. And I am glad I had the pliers in my pocket. Now you see what I'm talking about there. Where I ain't got to get them out every time. Be a pain. Oh. Mm. Dorsal fan, guys. Mm. All right. Nice little dark small one. Don't expect to get nothing giant today, just doing it for fun. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I seen him. I love it. Love when you can just see them come out of the woodwork there. A little large mouth. There is very, very few spotted bass up here this far. I've caught one or two, but there ain't many. Mostly about eight miles down from here, 10 miles down from here. Then they start. All right, let's get him. He quits going erratic here on me. Creek bass, still a lot of fun. 
And this place is real close to the house is why I chose to come here. I'm so wore out from the bowfin trip yesterday. I just could not get motivated. It was very hard for me to even get out of bed today. So I'm just doing a little short three hour wade here. One small mouth, one large mouth. Well, he didn't want to go back in, I guess. <laughs> All right. There we go. What a giant creek chub, man. That is awesome. That is a big creek chub, guys. Check it out. That is fairly large. That could be a horny hit. No, it's a creek chub. That's a real nice one, too. Check him out. It's a big old creek chub. About seven inches long. There we go. All right. What do I got this time? It is a goggle eye. I am really getting the variety now, guys. Small mouth, large mouth, creek chub, and goggle eye. Nah, I already made my day, man. I got everything that I've been, that I planned on catching in a matter of four fish. All three kinds that I was wanting. Really cool. Once again on the Bandit 200 crawdad pattern. All right, he's not a bad one. He's about six inches. Nice little shadow bass. You just can't beat these little creeks sometimes, guys. They have really nowhere to hide. I mean, they can run for a little bit, but, you know, it's not like a giant lake where you gotta really find them. It's real obvious where the fish are located. Hopefully I can get on some bigger ones of these. I like to get a nine or 10, and they are in this little creek, believe it or not. All right. disadvantage of these small creeks guys 
Usually after you catch one fish out of each hole, they're spooked. They're that small holes. It is that little. Very tiny holes. Yeah, a lot of sunfish, boy. Bed after bed after bed. For some reason, this hole's where they all decided to do it. I've never seen so many in one spot. creek is circles right here for this entire hole. I knew it. I knew it right away. Small mouth. Oh, no, it's a large mouth. It's a nice one, too. Boy, for this creek it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a nice large mouth for in here. Anything a pounder maker considered good for this upper stretch of the creek. He's over a pound. Oh, yes. First cast, I knew right away when I got to this hole, it's one of the bigger holes. All right. Let's get him off of the pliers. Now that's a good creek largemouth right there, guys. Yes, indeed. the trip worth it anyway all right I'll get her back in It's a goggle eye, maybe. No, it's a green sunfish. New species of the day, though. That makes five kinds now, though. Or four. Yeah. Large mouth, small mouth. Goggle eye. Creek chub. Yeah, this is five. Five kinds. A green sunfish with real orange fins. There's really nothing this crankbait won't catch. <coughs> really nothing, guys. So I caught five species of fish out of six fish. That's pretty good. That's what I like is that variety. That's pretty cool. I know there's something else back in there. <clears throat> there we go. Got him. Oh, it fell off. He attacked it as soon as it hit the water, guys. It didn't even... No, he's on there. So small I couldn't tell. Striped Shiner. 
Six species out of seven fish, guys. Little stripe of China. Now that's a variety. Six different kinds of fish out of seven fish that I've caught. The only double I got was a largemouth. Huh. Now that's cool. sensitive got him I got the sunfish of course with a largemouth following behind hey guess what guys that makes seven species out of eight fish now that is not that that is just crazy man seven species out of eight fish what a red sunfish that is. Oh, thanks for peeing all over me, buddy. Appreciate it. God. Really? What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. So I'm kind of glad I got him after all. I forgot I'm trying to... Obviously, I, I might as well see how many species I can get. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can pull one more out of here on that crank. I have officially changed to a Berkeley Power Grub, which is green on one side, orange on the other. It's two inches with a chartreuse tail, a one-eighth ounce chartreuse jig head. Fire Tiger, a Fire Tiger Grub. Now I'll catch more fish than I did with a crankbait. But it'll probably be a lot more smaller fish too but I'll still get the bigger ones too now second small mouth and it's not nice but it's fish little bitty guy about seven inches six inches pretty small there we go Yes, stay on. It stayed on. Oh my God, it's a miracle. All right, guys, I got a small mouth on the curly tail with no tail. Just a half a body. Ow. And still caught it and still didn't get to hold it. All right, guys, I got to change lures. I have no body on this. As I just hooked the smallie of the day, it looks like. On this hole, I knew they'd be out on the way back. That one I scared them in and I had to get in the water because I got hung. I said, I'll hit this on my way back through. Sure enough, first throw in there. He's, a, he's only about an inch bigger than any of them, but he's 13. It's a nice smallmouth for here. back in <clears throat> the decent size for this creek they don't normally get bigger than that I've caught a 16 out of it twice other than that I've never gotten over a 16 there he is 
Might be the same fish. <laughs> Never know, I guess. He'd be foolish to get hooked twice, wouldn't he? Alright, this is a little guy, a little eight inch smallmouth. Had a good, end up having a good day, guys. A lot of fun. Oh, he's got me hung. Oh, got him. Little smallmouth. Hey, it's a fish. I knew there'd be a fish there. It's all that matters. I could have got a better one, but he, I'm not going to complain. He's not horrible. It ain't near as deep as it looks from far away. You get up on it, you can see the bottom. But I knew it would hold a fish or two. This is as far as I'm going. I gotta start heading back, guys. I'm gonna make about two or three more casts here. Little smallmouth, baby. Oh, yes! Right off that tree. Oh yeah, nice one. There we go. I knew he was right underneath that big foam ball, guys. Good end of the day here. Good ending. All right. Well, 11 or 12 inch or anyway. On the missile shockwave. Nice little stream smally. I didn't even cast, I just pitched it out there and let it fall with the current and he grabbed it. Alright, let's get him back in. Went right back to where I caught him. Oh, small mouth. Oh, oh man, he's under he's in that root wad. Oh my god, I had him again. smart now though didn't they man I had my chance at him it's amazing that these fish will be in little two foot deep holes where you least expect it got him oh it's a nice one I knew I'd get one on the way back, guys. Told you. There's three fish in that root one. At least three smallmouth hiding in there. Wow. Pretty cool. He's about 11. Like I said, I'm not getting giants today. These are just little creek, creek fish. And it's a very tiny creek. Maybe 30 miles long. All right, not bad. Gotta keep moving though, unfortunately. I could have sat there and maybe gone down in one hour. Completely back. This is the last hole on the way back. I'm gonna see if I can get something out of it. 